Good afternoon, family and friends. Welcome to this live broadcast. And how are you doing? This is the third time for this today. Now I'm going to work. And uh, I'm happy that we have been sharing knowledge. And I'm happy that, or happier, that our people are waking up. Our people are beginning to think. So imagine what will happen, happen when majority of us finally wake, in, wake up. You begin to see some safety, like you feel like, yo, now I can go so so place and relax. Because when majority of our people wake up, you will see how evil will diminish in our land, in our neighborhood, in our places. Religion brought evil to us. Religion brought good and evil. And I will, I will explain why it is good and evil. And that good and evil religion brought to us are the worst thing that happened to us. Their good and evil is simply wickedness. Two sides of a coin. It is wickedness. And that wickedness, there is good wickedness, there is evil wickedness. That is the good and the evil. So I titled this turning point. It was a turning point in history. In human existence that one time men decided to create religion. Nobody was born with any form of religion. No. Our ancestors, our ancient people were living without religion. They were living their life naturally, humanly. Until at a point in time, turning point, they decided some wicked men, some evil wicked men decided to create religion to control to control people, to control those they con they confiscate their land and properties, to control those they enslaved, people that did them no wrong. They were living their life. In need of nothing from external war, they were just living their life, having everything they need because they value the land. And they enjoy everything that the land has. No need of stealing from someone else, no need of envying someone else. Our ancient ancestors were living their life perfectly normal, perfectly human, perfectly natural, until the wicked ones, which you, some people call white people, they invaded, begin to install people in power, to introduce strange way of living, abandoning nature for imaginary world. In nature, we have everything we need. In nature, there is no need, there is no lack. In nature, there is no great and the small. In nature, great and small, they are the same. Great and small, human being, it doesn't matter your height. Yes, there is, there is tall and short, there is up and down. That, that's why our ancestors had what was called the law of opposite. Where there is man, there is woman. Where there is male, there is female. There was no good and evil originally. Many of you are confused. I want to clear that confusion today. Especially when you read Genesis chapter 1, it confuses you. 
but I want to clear it because that is the beginning. They wrote about the beginning of religion. It is not the beginning of, of the world. The world has no beginning and the world has no ending. Period. No one can come out and say there was a beginning of the world. That person cannot prove it. The world has no beginning and it has no ending. So leave it as it is. Live in the world. Enjoy the world. That's why you were born. You were born to explore and enjoy the world. Do something for quality living. Invent something for quality living. Not worrying about when did the world began and when the world will end. Not worry about that. Live your life. In the beginning, man created God. That's why he said in the beginning, God created heaven and earth. But who created the God that created heaven and earth? Man. That's why you cannot see God. Because man created God, God in his mind. The only place God exists, the only place God is real, I mean the almighty God. The one that told you created the heaven and earth, he only, he's only real in the mind of man. Man created God. Wicked man, not good man. Good man did not create God. No good person is living by the grace of God or by the power of God or by the knowledge of God. No. Look at your child or look at, your, uh, at a newborn baby if you don't have one. Go to hospital and look at the newborn babies. They don't know what is called God. They don't know what is called religion. They were born just to explore and the ladaza you see them doing this crying all that that's talking and all that is natural when man created god i mean when man created religion man created god that's why every religion have god that's what made them religion so i laugh when a christian said christianity is not a religion it is a relationship you are talking bullshit. Christianity is a religion. If you believe in God, that's religion. So whether it's in African spirituality or in foreign religion, so long you believe in God, that's religion. That's what it means to be religious. You have a God. You believe in God. You are religious and you have religion. So whether your religion have a name or not, <laughs> so long you believe in God, you are religious. So stop being ashamed of it. If you believe, stand by your belief. You believe because you don't know. You have faith in God because you lack the knowledge of yourself. When you know yourself, you will know that you don't need God. It is God that needs you. So in the beginning, after man created religion, and God, in religion, that's where you see God and the Satan. Man created religion, then created God and Satan. That's why I tell you in Genesis, he said, God said, to who? Did they tell you to who God said, come, let us make man in our own image? Some people say oh, God was talking to uh, himself. Some say God was talking to three, the Holy Spirit and the Son. Some say, no, God was talking to angels. Some say, no. Is simple. Just the same reason why you can't see God because man made God in his mind and hid it from others, telling you he exists in heaven or somewhere or in your heart. No. It's the same reason. They tell you that God say, let us make man in our image and after our likeness. They didn't tell you that God said to Satan. It is God speaking to Satan. You cannot, anywhere you see God, you see Satan. Anywhere you see Satan, you see God. 
See, that's why all the people who are casting out Satan, they are worshipping God. They don't know they are still doing the same thing. God and the Satan are the two sides of a coin. And both of them are bad. <laughs> Wicked. Wickedness. All right? <laughs> Hear what he says, says, so God created man, but it was torn. No God created man. God and the Satan turned man into good and evil. The, when they tell you male and, female, male and female has been in existence before God. So, but male and female, that's why you see they made it male and female good and evil. Male is good. Female is evil. Can you think? It's not good and bad. They make it good and evil. And they tell you Satan is evil. Devil is evil. God is good. When you say God is good, what do Christians respond? All the time. All the time God is good. Bullshit. <laughs> that's biblical. That's religious bullshit. God is not good at any time. God has not been good at any time. For it to be good all the time. For we are. We are this God good. Tell me. Especially we Africans. If you're an African, don't hear listening to anyone that tell you again God is good. Because if God is good, you won't be suffering. Do you know that the people that gave you God don't believe in God? Yes, the Jewish people that gave you God. Jewish people are the one controlling the thinking and the mind of everyone, most of all the people in the world today. They, they gave you Judai, uh, Torah. When you read Torah, they are the one that wrote it. About they give the stories there. Okay, they created Christianity. You say, no, I'm a Christian, I'm not a Jew. You are stupid. Christianity and Judaism, what is different? Nothing. It's still, it's still the same mind control. Inside the Bible, they gave you as a Christian, you have two books there, the Old Testament and New Testament. Who wrote the Old Testament? The Jewish. It's the Jewish writers that are still controlling the minds of people that are Christians, Muslims, and Jews today. And you have majority of them all over the world. Every Christian believes in Jesus Christ, right? And they believe in the Bible. And the Bible, you see the Jewish fables there, the Jewish folklore, the Jewish stories. That's what is called the Old Testament. Written by who? The Jewish people. So when you are reading it, you believe in what they want you to believe. You believe there was God that created heaven and earth. Did your ancestors taught you that? No. You say, our well, ancestors believe there was happening. You don't know when they started believing that because you are ignorant. It was the invaders. Uh, if it were the, it were the invaders who introduced the worship of one God to our ancestors. Our ancestors weren't worshiping any imaginary beings. They were worshiping, respecting their ancestors, dead and alive. They respect them all. They weren't worshiping imaginary gods. You say they are. Uh, Worshippers of multiple gods, polytheism. Uh, okay, then, then the, uh, uh, before theism come, understand your ancestors. You, you know your ancestors, not just understand. Know your ancestors, then you will free yourself. Then they also created Islam. Every Muslim. All the Muslims, right? They say they are Muslims. They have Quran. Inside Quran, you have the five books of Moses, which is the Pentateuch, right? Who wrote that book? The Jewish writers. So when a Muslim is reading Quran, they are believing. Believing what the Jewish want them to believe. And that's why they believe the same bullshit that the God created them. But they say their God is Allah. <laughs> but it's the same shit in different toilets. Which some people call Abrahamic religion. And there are other religions that spring uh, spring out from, from that. Majority of the people in the world today, why you see evil going on in the world? Because the man who created God and 
made a book and forced people to believe them as the word of God as the word of truth which is not every holy book is a book of lies and deceptions there's no truth in any holy book no matter how holy you 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 claim or they tell you that book is it is full of lies there's it none from the beginning of it to the end of it there is there is no truth there none it may appear good to you, but that good is worse than bad. That good is evil. So that's how they created God and Satan. And called them male and female. Good and evil. That's why they tell you that it was woman that sinned and we fell. Nonsense. A man did not sin. It was women, women, the woman that was deceived and fell into transgression. Man was not. So they cursed woman. They cursed the woman and cursed the ground, not the man. Understand? That their God, religion, never caused the man. Religion only caused the woman. And say, woman is evil. When you want to get married. And you see many people grow up with that. Marriage is a necessary evil. A man will be doing good. Immediately that man marries a woman. Evil comes in. A family will be united. Immediately they begin to marry. Evil will come in. You don't know why it's happening. It's because of your faith and belief you have the religion gave you that religion is faith and belief and that faith and belief is good and evil that is what they put there they put male and female to deceive you who who put the tree of knowledge of what good and evil in the garden of god who put it understand it's a story they put there that's how they created good and evil in the in the in the in the in the, in the, in the, in the I mean in the ancient world there was no good and evil. It, every, they were living all natural life. They were living well, naturally, humanly, enjoying themselves. No, there was no war. There was no jail. Ask yourself when there was war and jail when do we begin to hear about wars and the jail prison locking people up like animals when did we begin to hear it who introduced it to the world you're talking about africa uh, black people and the white people who what is the world war who fought the world war the first world war and the second world war and threatening to fight the third one it's not in black people to do all that That evil turning point was when God, religion, God, and Satan was created, was created by men. It was not natural thing. And many of us are still living as if we don't care about that. But that turning point can start with you. And that's what it means when you say you are awakened. I'm woke. You are talking that about turning point. There was that turning point in your life. The time you realize there is no God Almighty anywhere. The time you realize I am God. I am Goddess. The time you realize I am the one that have the will and the power to make things happen. The time you, are, you realize there is no God invisible, there's no Jesus invisible that is coming to save you, that is coming to help you. The time you realize you reap what you sow. The time you realize that you decide your faith. The time you realize enough is enough. It is called a turning point.
point. You need to have a turning point in your life. That's all you need. You don't need a miracle. You don't need any miracle from any God, from any heaven, from any, any kingdom. All you need is a turning point in your life. You will have a rethink. You begin to use your brain, activate your brain, and begin to use your brain to think for yourself. And you will have a turning point. You free yourself. Your freedom starts in your mind or with your mind. You have to free yourself. Think yourself free. If you can think yourself happy, why can't you think yourself free? If you can think, yo, I think uh, you think yourself when things are not well, you say it's well. You're trying to think yourself happy. You're trying to think think yourself happy by faith. Why can't you think yourself free by thinking for yourself and accepting only what works for you, accepting only what serves you? Accepting only what brings up, uh, uh, I mean, uh, quality, uh, quality of living to you. Accepting only what motivates you. Accepting only what adds value to your life. Why can't you think you are self free? Our freedom, as they say, is an illusion, right? But your freedom is real. Because you can determine where to go. It is the whole people that will decide to have our freedom. Their freedom starts with you. You use your brain. And think yourself through out of that bondage. Think yourself free because they said you become what you think. You become what you think. You act what you think. Think yourself free. Be free. That's what is called a turning point. I was once a Christian, but when I embraced factual truth, that was my turning point. So when people, I remember when people used to ask me, what happened to you? People that used to know me as preaching God, even the people I was praying together with, they say, what happened to me? I say, I use my brain. I begin to think. They say, all these things you are saying, where do you get it from? I say, from my mind. I think for myself. I don't believe something because somebody said say it. I don't accept something because somebody said it. I think. And you can say multiple things. I pick the ones that work for me. The ones that is for me. The one that work for me is the one for me. Don't tell me people are accepting it. That's the I remember my mom, my mother asked me, who is following me in what I'm doing? In other words, in my family, like my wife, my 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 daughter or uh, my siblings or themselves my parents or my friends who is following me uh, uh, somebody that love freedom don't care about who is following him or her free yourself first people will not follow you because you are free people will follow you when their own turning point comes you don't force it on people and this uh, my mother is a christian that asked me that question in Jesus' family, did you see any of his family members followed him in your Bible that you are reading? A turning point is very important in your life and my life. That's how the freedom we all are yearning for will come. Let us start freeing ourselves. Have you set yourself free before you start preaching freedom? Set yourself free. If you're still being bound and you are preaching freedom, you are not free and you are just making noise. Start with yourself. Have a turning point in your life. Decide today to live 
for factual truth. Decide today to follow factual truth. Decide today to trust everything religion. Decide today to kill God in your life. Decide today to kill Satan in your life. Decide today to kill every imaginary being, invisible being in your life. And you see how free you live. A free human being, just as you were born. You were born free of God, free of Satan, free of evil, free of all this nonsense they are teaching in religion and spirituality. And you begin to live your normal life and enjoy it. Peace.